Hey friends, so in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use XFunnels and how can you make uh, awesome funnels and websites using XFunnels.io. So this is a login screen. After login, we'll be landed on funnels page where you can see there are two options, funnels and websites in the left panel. So in the sidebar, we have these options here, dashboard, funnels, my products, contacts, app integration, my domain. And you have these two options here settings app integration and uh, sign out option so uh, let me show you let's create a, a new funnel so you you when you click click on this tiny button here new button you will you will see there are two options new funnels and new website so if you click on new funnel you can create sales funnel you can create product launch funnel you can create membership funnels email funnels live webinar funnels replay funnels so click on sales funnels click on next button you can cho you can uh, uh, choose a name for your funnel let's say if you want to choose your logo you can choose a logo you can mm, let me use a logo if i have okay we have this old logo of hq webinar we can use it click on crop uh, you can choose a tag if you want click on create a button so as soon as you click on create button you can see your funnel has been created here and you have uh, this is a funnel name sales demo funnel and you have five pages in funnel uh, you have opt-in first step is opt-in second step is sales third step is order form fourth step is order confirmation and fifth step is thank you you have you have two options here add new step in the funnel and import page so you can click on this add new step button so as soon as you click on this you get you, you it, it asks you on a like uh, name name of your step so if you want to add one more page in the funnel you can add it add uh, this page from here or if you want to import a page from some external website or for like some web page of yours you can actually just use the link here and it will download the page in the editor you have funnel information so uh, how many page views you, you got how many opt-ins you got how many sales you generated so this is the place where you from where you can actually set up subdomain so let's say you want to have a subdomain called demo sales so if it is available it will ask you to click on submit button click on submit button and your subdomain is created all right so click on subdomain link it will show you 404 because you have not set up your funnel yet you can as you can see your uh, like you have five steps in the funnel this is your logo and you, this is the progress bar which is like completely blank it means you have not set up I, I mean you have not started set up like your funnel yet so click on any step and it will show you two options here choose variant a choose variant b so you you as you have not started a b testing yet so your variant b is just blurred so and it is just disabled you cannot choose it if you click on a b testing it, it will be active and you can choose a variant b as well but before that you have to choose a variant a it means you have to choose uh, a template for variant a so click on variant a these are the awesome templates we are we are going we are, we are giving with the uh, x funnels so you have these options you can have opt-in templates you can have thank you templates sales templates order form launch page order membership access all these templates you have websites and landing pages so let's say you, you click on uh, template mm -mm -mm product video b click on that let's say okay so your template has been actually selected 
and as soon as you click on a b testing on you can choose a variant b so uh, your your traffic will be diverted on both uh, you know like urls so you, as you selected the template you can see the option uh, in opt-in template step one is active now okay so this is the this is the place from where you can put the tracking codes so let's say if you have some scripts uh, you want to put on in in the header of your page you can play, paste it here or if you have some scripts you want to put on the uh, you know like uh, footer side of the page you can paste in this option here okay now i'll show you some good things how it, you can actually create your funnel let's say if you want to add one more uh, down sale page in this funnel but but before that let me show you the what we have here in this url of our funnel oh so now we have a page ready here so we have this page this is the awesome landing page we have which is which has the back video in the background which has awesome menu so this is this is what we have in the x funnel we have block section here we have gallery section here we have product demo section section benefit section here we have the awesome like description section here so this landing page can be used for your like sales uh, as a sales page and if you want to have some kind of uh, uh, downsell for the for for this particular opt-in page and you know the best thing about uh, a sales funnel is that you can just drag and change the position of your like from funnel so let's say it earlier it was opt-in was your first page but now you want to have the sales page on the top so click on the sales page and choose the variant And click on the let's say product sales page B and you come here and you refresh your funnel page I mean the funnel URL you see that you have the different template you have the different uh, look and feel all together now so it's very easy in X funnels to just drag and change the position of your page and you don't have to have technical knowledge about how to upload a, a pay, page on the server how to actually you know like put it on the uh, on, in the front and so now i have changed the page so you can see the page has been changed automatically it's so easy just drag and drop now let's say if you want to have a downsell for opt-in page so click on the step down sell step let's say this is the this is my page name okay click on create you have already added down sell step in the in the funnel just drag it and drop in the under the opt-in page you see these three dots here click on them you see make it down sell click on the this button now it will ask you do you want to make it down sell of step one opt-in yes so as soon as you click on yes you see now you have created a down sell for opt-in so you can see this is a bit you know like uh, right side so it is showing like it is under this page and you have this tags you can see this tag here down sell okay so this is the down sell of this page so uh, now if you click on opt-in you will see pop-up setting for down sell so what is the intent of the pop-up you want to show the pop-up on exit or on time so click on 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 exit you don't have to set the time you just put the text of pop-up so if somebody is on the opt-in page and trying to try to come out you know like uh, you know exit or want to want to close the page this pop-up will be occurred and will show the show the text you have mentioned here and you can actually redirect the user on this down sell step page so let's choose a page you choose a template for this down sell uh, mm, 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 mm. let's say this corporate okay so now you have set the theme for the down sell 
you have already set the theme theme for opt-in and you have already set the theme theme for sales and now you can see how many what is the percentage of funnel we have actually completed so you can see we have 50 percent almost 50 percent funnel we have completed out of six we have three and you can see the progress bar is 50 percent now so this it it shows you how how much percentage of funnel you have actually created you completed and uh, it shows like how many pages you have already activated how how, how many actually you know uh, pages you are in like still in the progress so now you click on any page and now let's see the builder how can you change the template so right now we have this theme okay now I want to change the text and the, and the, put the video and other stuff we can do that so click on open in builder here we go so now you have these options here so now you can we, we have these blocks so let's say you want to add some kind of uh, a benefits blog you can just click on benefits you will see the benefit blocks here if you want to add you can just click on add benefit and you can add more blocks let's say click on this and you will see you have added the benefit of block here so a mock-up of your design and you know, like other stuff click on the setting so you can change the uh, you want to change the position of this you can change it very easily it's like you can drag it drop it anywhere and the best part about this is 100% responsive if you click on the mobile you will see this is 100% responsive so this is the best thing about builder that you can drag you can drop the stuff anywhere you can drag this let's say here or anywhere it's a kind of a freestyle editor you can drag and drop things anywhere and they will be responsive automatically all right so you can you can make awesome uh, you know like designs here you can add stuff you can add want to add text a paragraph you can want to cta you want to put the image you can do that if you want to change the video of the in the background you can do that so click on the setting tab here and you can actually change the video let's say click on this and choose a video from here to let's say this so now we have changed the video you want to change the opacity of the video you can do that kind of this so easy you can change you can upload a image you can upload your own stuff if we have good stock images you can do you can upload those images you can just you know click on this button to see the preview so you can see the preview you can save it you can save it and you can see the preview in the real time so now you have the, you have the preview ready so this is the preview of, of your page you can you want to change the uh, you know kind of url of of the cta button click on this click on the url you have these options here external section image video pop-up model element and checkout <clears throat> so you want to put the checkout you can do that and you know like uh, if you have already created products in in your uh, x funnel so what is product so product is kind of a, a you know like a, a section where you can actually create your own own uh, agency products or kind of own products which you are want to sell using funnels so uh, let's say i have created hq webinar pro all right or i've created hq webinar for uh, like uh, front end personal so uh, let me show you how you can create a product you can choose a product name you can put the description of the product sorry for the typo <laughs> so uh, you can choose a product image you can uh, you know like change the billing type so you want to sell it on one time you want to sell it on monthly recurring you want to sell it on yearly recurring 
So let's say I want to sell it for one time. You can change the price. You can change the currency. So let's say USD. And you want to you want to charge by PayPal or Stripe. You can choose these two options here. And let's say price is 197, one time price. So once you set up this uh, product, you will see, you will get the list of these. Let's say we have three products here right now. So HQ Webinar Pro, which is for $98 one time. HQ Webinar Friend and Personal for $67 one time. And Name Test for $10 one time. Now you want to sell these products here. So click on the card bar option. You will see the checkout page setting here. From where you can actually choose name, test, HQ Webinar, Front and Personal, and HQ Webinar Pro. So now after just choosing a product name, you can click on Next. So you can see the steps here. You can choose the, choose the logo of your uh, product. You can change the checkout title, heading, total number of, you know, like, um, just text for the total text for the call to action pay now so you can you can change the you know like checkout page settings you can change the contact details if you want to add a mobile number on checkout page you can add so you can do all these settings here you want to change the you want to ask the address for only billing delivery and uh, billing both so you can do all those things here in the checkout section okay so you can how this is how you can set up your checkout you know like uh, uh, product use this button for call to action for the for the checkout you can do that just by clicking on the link button so this is this is so easy to set up your you know like uh, funnel and you know like your products you can sell you can integrate your you know like all the all the apps in the app integration section so we have already implemented you know kind of a tour so you can set up your uh, paypal you can set up your Stripe, MailChimp, GetResponse, all these autoresponders, and you can integrate your HQ webinar, uh, you know, like account. So all the HQ webinar, uh, you know, like the webinars you have created in the HQ webinar. So let's say if you have created H, uh, uh, live webinars, evergreen webinars, or semi-live webinars in the HQ webinar. So all those webinars will be fetched in the funnel, and you can create funnel for all the webinars in X funnel or you want to sell uh, let's say if you're an agency license holder of HQ webinar or any other product you can just sell those products using X funnels so this is how it works and uh, I'll show you how you can create a website it's very easy just choose a website section click on new website you can change the website you can put the website name so let's say I want to create a website for my own store my store is uh, Mazu.com. I just got the name. Click on this. So I have this uh, index page ready here. I can just I can just choose the index page, and I can choose my template for the website. Any template I can choose, I can choose even blank template, so I can create it from scratch. Uh, let's say the Maju is about real estate. I can have the real estate template. So again, I can add it in the builder. So I can make the website ready in the X funnels. I don't now. You don't have to have any other website building tool. You don't need to have any other funnel building tool. You don't need uh, to have a, uh, you know, like uh, any age builder or something like that. You can create all those things here in X Funnels. And the best part about X Funnels is you can manage your contacts here. You can manage your own domain. So let's say if you want to connect your, uh, you know, like uh, custom domain, you can do that. That's very easy. Click on the, the click on the uh, new domain button. You can choose one of your uh, subdomain. And you can enter your uh, domain name without www, and you just have to, uh, you know, do some some settings in your uh, CNAME funnel. Very easy, and it, it just takes like few minutes to create a funnel or website and to connect with your domain. It, it's so easy. We are we are going to uh, provide you like hundreds of awesome funnels and templates, and we are going to provide you awesome uh, content stuff and you know like
guidelines how you can create funnels tutorials all this in xfunnels.io so this was a demo of uh, xfunnels and next in my next demo i will show you how you can create uh, voice command operated landing pages and voice command operated websites so your users don't have to click on any button uh, you know like uh, don't have to search the stuff they just use the voice commands and they can operate the whole website very easily so i will show you this in the next demo and this was xfunnels.io i hope you liked it and uh, thank you very much